My next guest is a Grammy Award winning singer who has sold over 7 million albums, 16 million singles worldwide, but that is nothing compared to the show she and her boyfriend Russell Wilson put on for her 8 million Instagram followers this past weekend. Please welcome Sierra. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Oh, we're yeah. thrilled to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. You look like you were having a fabulous weekend with your boyfriend. I mean, it was quite something. You know who she's going with, don't you? <laughs> yes? Yes, do we know? Seattle Seahawks star quarterback, Russell Wilson? Yes. <laughs> and the pictures are so romantic. Oh, you posted a bunch you. of them. Was it as romantic as it looked? It was, it, the trip was a muy, muy romantical. Oh. Um, the trip was bonita, as I I'm trying to get my Spanish together. <laughs> that was my whole what journey made it the whole time. Um, you know what? It was, you know, being there with people that we love. Um, you know, we, my dad was there, oh. my son was there, his close friends and, and his team, and all of us were just together having a cool family time. And so it was just like, just having a true, true, true vacation. And for me, my best vacation experience ever in my life. Well, it looked, there was like a lot of sex appeal in those pictures, which I find a little ironic because you guys are celibate. Yes. Oh, whose idea was that? And how's well, it going? You know, it was really a teamwork kind of, uh, it, it was a teamwork effort. And um, I have to say, um, it was also awesome because he was also a leader in the process of it. It was a part of the conversation we were having and we just kind of like, came to the idea of it and um, the challenge of it, um, of it all. So that was, it was just a very organic thing for us. And but how do you that make place. that decision, Sierra? How do... You know what? It's, it, honestly, it's a spiritual thing for yeah. us. Um, you know, our love for God, our love for one another, and just wanting to really know each other and grow with each other and let it be about that at the base of it all. So I think if you really truly have a friendship, you can kind of conquer everything in your relationship. Yeah. So that's our goal. Um, and we both have that same ideology about it. So it's... Has Pretty it cool. Been, has it been hard? Or uh, yes. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> you know, yes, yeah, very hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Belated so birthday. Thank you. You turned 30 and you, boy, you did it in style. But before we, uh, we talk about your party, what does it mean to you to turn 30? Because that's one of those pivotal birthdays for a lot of folks. Yes, dirty 30. Um, <laughs> oh, I never heard of it put that the, way. The yeah. Dirty 30 <laughs> feels really good. Um, I'm in the best place in my life as a woman. And um, I used to hear women talk about, like, this is the time we all kind of start to see life clear. We start to be, you know, very clairvoyant. We start to really, like, have a cool understanding of ourselves. And it feels like that and more for me. Um, I love this time. Yeah. You know? Have you really had moments where you felt clairvoyant? I feel I'm in the most clairvoyant place in my life. You know, I want to be the best mom I can possibly be. I don't want no drama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any drama. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to reach higher every day and um, just do the best that I can. So I, I just want to make sure that my environment supports that. And also for my son, I want for him to have the best, you know, opportunity that he can have. You know, he's, he's growing up a bit more privileged than I, wa than I was. Um, but because of that, it motivates me to also just like keep working harder every day. And when he grows up, he gets to learn that he has to work hard for that too. Yeah. But it's I mean, right I just that wanna... his name is future because yes. that's the way you're thinking. Yes, it you know, is. Building a future yeah. for him and for you. Then. When I say we're preparing for our future, I'm like pun intended, you know, <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. Well, the party looked like it was great. You had some, I mean, Serena Williams was there, Beyonce was there, among <laughs> others, I'm sure. My invitation lost in the mail. Once again, I don't get this, but what was your favorite uh, part of the night? And you all dressed up, and Russell planned this. It was a surprise, yes, which it was, is very I, sweet. And I don't like surprises, yeah. um, but a Superhero was, theme. I'm like, if I get surprised like this, you can surprise me all the time. <laughs> um, it was an amazing night for me. Everything about the night was like a dream. Um, I mean, just even seeing him waiting at the Batmobile, like, he looked like the real Bat. <laughs> The real Batman. <laughs> but it was really cute. It was the best birthday experience I've ever had. And more than anything, what was cool is that I was surprised by all the people that I love. It was a perfect night, yeah. and um, I'm just truly thankful. Yeah. Well, you're someone who not only is thankful for all the gifts you've been giving, but you give back. 
yes. a great deal. You've partnered with Unilever and Feeding America on their Share a Meal campaign. The yes. goal of that is to end childhood hunger. Yes. What drew you to this particular campaign? Because there are so many you could attach your name to. Well, you know, being a mom, I yeah. really connect to this um, this campaign. Um, you know, it was a really it's a real reality that one in five children suffer from childhood hunger every day. And what's exciting about in this, this country, campaign, you think it's crazy? Yeah. yeah. You know, you when I grew up, you see the third world country commercials, and you see that. Do you think it's only happening there? But yeah. you realize it's happening in our own neighborhood. And for me, that really drew me close to it because it really is real. One in five children suffer from childhood hunger. Mm -hmm. Someone in your neighborhood could be suffering. You don't even know it. So what's exciting about this campaign is that we can all come together and use the social media platform in a very positive way. Like now, you know, we post fashion photos and selfies and all that good right. stuff. But why not take a moment to stop from that and to just simply put hashtag share a meal? And when you do that, Unilever donates one meal to Feeding America. And then they've already done one million meals. And so our goal is to rally up America to do one million more meals. And why not use our social feeds for something so powerful like this? And I think you will all feel good knowing that after you've just put hashtag share a meal, you can put up you've a picture. Fed a family. Yes, that you've fed a child yeah. that needed food, and especially during this holiday season. Yeah. It's just so, it's such a crucial time and it's very real like you know this really exists and it's very heartbreaking for me so um, I was honestly super excited when I got the phone call from Unilever and I'm um, just super excited about this campaign you know let's and make a movement I, they want to do one million we could do even more. I said we can do two. We can I do agree. three million more. Exactly. So that's the goal. Well, thank Let's you for go. spreading the message.